Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. This is a continuation of my previous video where I had explained you what is deep copy and shallow copy. In this video, I'm going to extend it by asking you some interesting questions on deep copy and shallow copy, which are generally asked during the interview and how to tackle it. Okay. If you have not watched my previous video, I would highly advise please go back and watch it. The reason being there I've explained you all the concept and here it's the application of it. If you have not seen that video, then it becomes slightly difficult for you to answer the questions here. Okay. The link for the video I'll try to attach in the description also somewhere on the screen as well. Please go ahead and watch it. Okay. Without wasting further time, let's get started. Question number one. Okay. So in question number one, uh, so make a deep copy. So if you are someone who are fast enough to understand the question and you know the answer, go ahead and mention question number one and put your answer in the comment section. Continue watching to ensure whatever you answered is correct. So question here is we have an array one and array two. I am assigning array one to array two and I'm adding a value at the end of array two and I'm printing it here. Same as the example that we saw in our last video. Let me execute this. So what is happening is array two and array one are getting 10 at the end of them. Okay. As you can see here, though we had added 10 only to end of array two, it is also getting added to end of array one also. So putting in very simple terms, this behavior is not intended or it is making a deep copy where it's making a shallow copy where we want to make a deep copy. Okay. We want to array two and array one to be disconnected. Okay. Because that is how most of the day to day programming happens where even the reference type like arrays and objects, we want to make a deep copy. Okay. So question is simple in this line where a shallow copy is happening, convert that into a deep copy. If you know the answer now, at least you can go ahead and answer it in comment section. If not, I'll tell you how to make a deep copy. Okay. It is quite straightforward using the spread operator. Okay. Let me run this. So, you know, now only array two got updated and array one did not get updated. So this is because of spread operator. What is spread operator? Spread operator was introduced in JavaScript in ES 2015. What spread operator does is whenever you are using the spread operator, it takes contents of the entire array one creates a new object or new array and assigns that into array two. So it makes a deep copy. Okay. Because of which array one and array two are disconnected now. Okay. So this was the question and you answered it. Now let us go to the second question. Okay. Similar to the above question, but it is, I can say slightly complicated, but you should be able to answer it. Okay. Question number two. So what I'm doing here is instead of an array, I'm using an object here. The reason I'm using object here is in most of the interviews, interviewer will ask you object instead of an array. The reason being very difficult to in, in, in object, it is very easy to create a difficult question. So most interviewer would prefer objects. Okay. So user one has being a name and a channel. What is happening is we are assigning user one to user two and we are changing user two's name and printing user two object and user own object. So what output what we are getting is Though we changed only user two dot name, even user one dot name also got changed as you can see here. You know this already, this, this is because of the shallow copy. How to overcome this? So my question is straightforward again, how you will solve this problem. If you know the answer, please do mention that in the comment section. If not, I'll tell you. So you already know the spread operator. Okay. Let us spread this. Let us spread this and see the output. Yes. So we're getting the output. Uh, only the user two is getting changed and user one has no effect. So user one and user two are disconnected by using the spread operator. Some interviewer will be definitely happy by this, but some still want to check your basics. So they will ask you candidate. Are there any other ways we can make the same, same thing or how to achieve a deep copy without using spread operator? Yes, there is a way. Let me tell you that. Okay. There is a simple way of using object dot assign. Okay and put user one here and run the code. Okay. Getting cool wasn't and wasn't. So basically uh, user two and user one are disconnected even with object dot assign approach. Now let me tell you what object dot assign does. Basically object dot assign and spread operators are does the same job. In fact, spread operator is a successor of object dot assign. So wherever object dot assign was used before now in most of the space places programmers use the spread operator. Okay. There are various other is other areas also where object dot assign can be used, but I'm not going to explain that in this video, but for this video, you can understand uh, it like this object dot assign will also help you to make a 
deep copy okay now let's go to question number three question number three slightly complicated so if any one of you have already worked on deep copy and shallow copy and able to predict the output of this straight away go and mention question number three and your answer okay uh, if not i'll explain the question so we have created an object called user one who has a name and a channel and his location city and state location is an object inside user one object which has city and state as its key and values okay what i'm doing is i'm assigning user one to user two and user two's location dot city i'm changing to mysuru and i'm printing both let me show you the output what's happening is even though we are changing user to city user one's city is also getting changed okay you already know this happening because of the shallow copy how to make a deep copy that also you are aware you're using the spread operator okay let us use the spread operator save it run it so interesting thing to observe here is even though you use the spread operator city is still mysuru though you wanted only to change the user tools location dot city even user once location dot city has also got changed how to solve this so there is a you know if if this one is not working you know another way as well that is object dot assign okay let me try that also let me run this see still it has been mysuru only the value has not changed so whether you use object dot assign or the spread operator it did not work just for those of you who still not understand let me just tweak it a bit i am doing user 2 dot name as cool vasant okay let me run this so if you observe now only user 2's name got changed user 1's name did not get changed okay but the same did not happening for the location correct so why this is happening now you might have understood a bit you are able to change these values are deep copied but this is getting shallow copied that means if the object is nested i mean there is there is an object inside an object then whenever you use object dot assign or the spread operator it is not making a deep copy of inside objects okay due to which both objects user 1 and user 2 still point to same object location so if you change the user 2's location user 1's location also getting changed so how to solve this problem so easiest way to solve this problem is with this let me show you first let me let the code then i'll explain how okay let me execute this yeah so now only the user 2 has city became mysuru and user 1 city is still bengaluru okay so we achieved what we wanted now let me explain you what json dot parse json dot stringify does see json dot stringify will convert an object into a string json dot parse will convert a string into an object so technically whichever the form that user 1 was there before it is going to be same after this operation also only difference is json dot parse and json dot stringify will make a deep copy of the variable user 1 okay not just the outer objects even the inner objects so whatever there in inner objects or nested objects even they are also deeply copied due to which now user 2 and user 1 are disconnected but there are still some areas where we cannot use json dot parse and json dot stringify to make a deep copy that i'll explain in the next video because we are somewhat close to the 9 minutes and i don't want to stretch this video okay i i believe you have understood the various different ways of making a deep copy of objects and arrays so we using spread operator using object dot assign and using json dot parse and json dot stringify i just have to say one last thing here many people think json dot parse and json dot stringify is not a standard approach it's a jugad approach but it is not like that json dot parse and json dot stringify is, is a good approach that you can use for the nested objects deep copying it has been documented even in developer.mozilla.com on how, how to achieve a deep copy of nested objects so whenever you encounter a scenario like this feel free to use json dot parse and json dot stringify there is nothing wrong with that okay if you like my video please do like it on youtube if you want your friends to also to get benefited by this channel please do share the channel with them do not forget to subscribe to our channel uncommon geeks and i'll try to add my medium blog links related to this in in the description please do watch read that because if somebody if you are someone who wants to read it rather than watching the video you can read it quickly there 
I'll also try to get a GitHub repository of all these questions so that you one stop you'll be able to get all the questions and practice on your own. That also those that link also I'll try to add it in the description. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.